you talk about being unbroken in a broken world? Yes, <laughs> I think what's happening with a lot of us, especially spiritual folks, is that our point of interest tends to be toward the broken state of the world. A lot of us are in a space of grieving for the planet, for example, like how can we help Gaia? We are in a space of grieving for humanity, uh, for nations and for communities. And, and we spend a lot of time in places like social media, watching the news and just observing this, what appears to be broken dimensional reality. And what I, um, what I like to tell my members and my students is that this reality appears broken for a reason. And we came here to experience this seeming brokenness and remain whole within the brokenness and not to get sucked into the illusion, for example, of separation, the illusion of fear, because there's so much fear built into the earth reality. And there's so much fear built into just simple things like relationships and finding a job and money. There's fear everywhere. But the reality is that we, as our divine beings, I like to call this our I am selves, we are fearless. We know that there's actually nothing to fear, that we have everything that we could possibly need to make this journey into this war-torn planet. You know, I like to call it what looks like a prison planet. It's Mad Max out here. Like we, we made the journey with a backpack, with a compass, with a map, with everything we need to come here and to be the light and to always find ways to align back to who it is that we truly are. Now, the problem I think that we have is that we get sucked into the illusion. It's so sticky here, isn't it, in 3D reality. It's easy to start to identify with the money in your bank account or lack thereof, the health of your relationship or your marriage or your children or the lack thereof. It's easy to get pulled out of this space of wholeness and alignment by identifying more with what the senses tell you is true. The challenge for us is to as Neville Goddard says, deny what the senses tell you are true. Deny this and instead return to that inner voice which bears witness in a different kind of a way, in a feeling or a knowing way to who it is that we really are. And so a lot of what I teach is how to align back to that, how to hear that source signal because it's within us all. It's called the spirit and nobody can take your spirit from you. It's within you. It's about maybe relearning to listen to your spirit again and finding it within you and then trusting that and following that. That's the key to not just like living the life that you truly want to live and, and stopping associating with the brokenness of where we are and getting back to what we came here to do, because I believe we all came here to do something really, really special. That was so beautifully said. Um, I I love the way you put that. I haven't had it had had it put quite that way to me before. Is to stay within your spirit, and also we ha we are taught we're taught to focus on the outside, to focus on the money, to focus on the job and the family right. and everything else. And we're specifically taught not to focus on the inside. Right. So if you're in the audience, don't be beating yourself up about that. Um, that's what this, this series is all about, is coming back to, to ourselves. So Absolutely. And also recognizing that it's, the game is kind of rigged. Like this whole reality is rigged toward clicking you out of alignment. I honestly, with a sense of play, I think we came into this reality knowing, oh, this is going to be a tough one. You know, this is going to be accelerated, amplified learning in the earth school. And the challenge is remaining whole. The challenge is returning to that source signal. So don't beat yourself up for overly identifying with things that seem broken. Instead, focus now on the things that you can do to get yourself back home.